I'm gonna record some ambience and put it in this track. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack. I love talking about personal finance, adulting, and self-improvement here on the internet. And today, let's talk about life insurance. Hi, good morning. If you're already working, malamang sa malamang somebody has offered you life insurance na pwedeng kumuha ka or hindi pa, so you should definitely watch this video. If you're a student, sooner or later, may mag-offer din sa'yo ng life insurance, so you definitely need this video as a guide. Cheers! Previously, I've been working for a life insurance company as an insurance advisor for the past three and a half years. And dahil doon, I gained some experience and knowledge with regards to this topic. So that's what I'd love to share to you today in this video. First things first, what is a life insurance? And does everybody need a life insurance? Basically, life insurance is a financial product that gives protection to you or your family with regards to unexpected things that happens in life. Whether it's death, whether it's an accident, or whether it's a critical illness that you develop. The next question is, uh, does everybody need life insurance? Ako, I highly encourage everyone to get a life insurance because at some point in time, beneficiaries mo or your family will benefit from the life insurance sa kukuhain mo. Pero I'd love to have yung unpopular opinion ko. So simulan muna natin dito. If you are a breadwinner for your family or kaya naman parents ka na ay meron kang dependents, sa ganitong sitwasyon, you definitely, definitely, definitely need to have a life insurance. Pero paano pag fresh grad ka pala and wala kang dependents? Do you really need a life insurance? For me, this is a gray area kasi... Um, paano ba? Of course, as someone who advocates personal finance, uh, I'd, I'd really, really encourage everyone to have a life insurance. Pero lagyan ko ng but. But if you still can't afford to get a life insurance, or kaya naman magagamit mo yung money to do something more productive, like uh, starting a business using yung capital ng pera mo, or kaya naman use the money to uh, take a post-grad degree or a master's degree, siguro you could take chance or take risk with life. But as soon as afford mo na, then that's a time you definitely go get a life insurance. The next question that I'd love to ask myself is, um, how much insurance do I need to insure myself? And how much percentage of my income should go to my life insurance? The pretty basic answer kung magkano dapat yung insurance mo for yourself is just multiply by 120 kung magkano yung ginagasas mo for your family each month. Let's say 50,000 yung ginagasas mo for your family or your dependents each month. So 50,000 yun, just multiply it by 120 and that's 6 million. So yun dapat yung insurance mo for yourself and that should put you in the ballpark. Again, this is just a rough computation. Yung basic idea lang nito is at least you buy 10 years worth of expenses for your family because sabi nila if you provide 10 year window of expenses for your family uh, yun yung time window yung time frame kung saan nakapag adjust na yung family mo financially from that incident that happened again I want to emphasize that's just a rough computation we didn't factor in inflation yet and lifestyle inflation of your family cause kasi paano if magka college na yung anak mo within that 10 year window so obviously dapat mas mataas pa yung life insurance mo if ganun yung situation. the next question that I have for myself is how much of my money should go to my life insurance so so for this one, wala akong definite answer for this question. I say it's how much insurance that you need that dictates kung magkano yung gagasasin mo for your insurance. And obviously, if mala mataas yung value ng insurance na kailangan mo, the more expensive your insurance will be. If you could afford kung magkano yung dapat mong insurance in one uh, insurance policy, the better. Pero in most cases, kasi hindi naman ganun yung nangyayari. Hindi mo naman nagagad afford afford yung uh, kailangan mo amount of life insurance. So what I suggest is use natin yung example ko kanina where you need 6 million worth of life insurance. So what I suggest is to chop it into several uh, policies. So ganito. For example, sa unang uh, policy mo, you just need to get parang 2 million worth of insurance. Then, pag tumas na yung sweldo mo, as tumas na yung sweldo mo, diba? Uh, after 2 years, you get another 2 million. So meron ka ng 4 million worth of insurance. Then, pag tumas na ulit yung sweldo mo, then you add another uh, 2 million worth of insurance after 2 years, then uh, in that case, diba, nabuo mo na yung 6 million worth of insurance na kailangan mo. Again, pwede ka naman kumuha ng multiple insurance and that is the better way to do it. Third question ko sa sarili ko is, are VU insurance the best type of insurance? If you have already met an insurance advisor, malamang narinig mo yung VUL insurance. So the answer to this, to this question is, it depends. Um, 
based from my experience before, 90 to 95 percent of the time, the clients prefer DUL insurance kasi nga uh, meron ka ng life insurance at at the same time meron siyang investment component. So, panalong panalo, di ba? So, what's the catch? The catch is it has more uh, fees and charges compared to a regular term insurance. Because a regular term insurance uh, only covers yung life insurance mo and wala siyang um, investment component in it. To justify yung VUL insurance, why does it has more charges? It's because meron kang investment component in it and meron kang fund managers that manages your money mo. So, that justifies kung bakit meron siyang additional charges more than a term insurance. Pero ito, this is just my pure opinion. When does a VUL makes more sense and when it does not? If you are a typical working Filipino and alam mo naman sa sarili mo na gagasasin mo lang din yung pera mo over nonsensical things, then uh, just put your money on a VUL insurance and alam mo sa sarili mo na wala kang investment sense in yourself, then yun. In most cases, kanyan naman talaga. So, pagkaganto yung case mo, you should definitely uh, put your money in a VUL insurance. But if you feel na you want to manage your own money and kaya mo i-educate yourself mo to invest in UITF, mutual funds, stocks, real estate, or pwede mong ipangbuo ng capital mo yung money mo for a business, then definitely a term insurance is better for you more than a VUL because di ba wala ka ng management fees lastly this is just also based on my own opinion uh, if you want a health specific na life insurance kasi mas concerned ka sa health mo then definitely go get a health specific na life insurance rather than a VUL na may CIB na rider there are a lot more ways and facets of life insurance pwede mo siyang gamitin uh, for estate taxes so pagka nawala ka yung mamanahin ng, ma ng family mo wala silang babayaran na estate taxes because yung uh, life insurance mo will provide pang bayad dun sa estate taxes or kaya naman you want to leave a legacy so if nawala ka uh, it will ensure na yung family mo will have a financially prosperous, prosperous life throughout their lifetime so pwede mo din gamitin yun but those are advanced ways on how you could leverage life insurance but for the meantime yung basic and fundamental use ng life insurance is to provide a uh, financial protection for yourself and your family to uncertainties in life. Those are the things to ask yourself before getting a life insurance. If I missed something or meron kayong questions, shoot them in the comment section down below. Lastly, ito, this is a post-sale service. So ako, I highly encourage you to ask your advisor to do a uh, annual review or, of your policies because every year naman nagbabago na yung needs mo. So, di ba, mali mo meron magandang idagdag na policy for your policies. So yun lang, I think that's also important to add in this video. Lastly, last na lang na gusto kong i-add, uh, please educate yourself more kasi malay mo, di ba, binibenta ka lang na advisor mo ng policy na hindi mo naman kailangan. So, I think it's also better to be precautionary. So, that's it. If you have questions, please shoot them in the comment section down below. And, yun na, uh, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. So, yun lang, parang, I would love to parang ask for additional help na lang sana because I'm almost near din sa monetization activation ng channel ko. So, I'm almost done with the requirements sa watch hours ko. Pero yung sub count ko is lagging. So, I would really, 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 I would really, really appreciate yung help nyo if you uh, hit the like button and promote my channel in your own little way. So, forever grateful sa tulong na ibibigay nyo. That's it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!